Hello, just doing a quick follow up on this uh, Bell Riot helmet. So I've had it for 18 months, I guess, and uh, rode it for about 15,000 kilometers, and it's still very comfortable. Um, I really like it. I have no uh, plans to get a different helmet. I put this shield on after it comes to the clear shield, so I put the tinted shield on. It's actually dirty right now, but it's actually in really good shape still. No scratching, very uh, scratch resistant. I am careful with it, as careful as possible, but it's a good quality shield. It isn't cheap, but it is worth the money. And I just get a view through it. Yeah, so there's through the shield and there is without, so. At night, it is a problem after dusk. Yeah, it gets a bit too dark, so I'll have to ride the shield up, but it isn't that bad if I ride with the shield up like that. I can ride up to <clears throat> 50, 60 miles an hour, no problem, or up to 100K. I have glasses anyway, so as long as you have glasses on, you should be good. Uh, but without glasses, you better have the shield down. And then I added the Senna intercom system as Bluetooth. I mean these for Bluetooth for music. And you see the speaker in there. There's one there and one on the other side. I padded, I spaced them out a bit to get close to my ear. Originally I had them with no spacer and it was uh, too far away, so I didn't get any bass. So, and then also when you use Spotify or what have you, or Apple, you have to, I find you have to add bass to your equalizer and then it sounds pretty good. It's still super comfortable, no wear really, and got bugs on it and stuff like that. But yeah, when I have it on, it, I almost I subconsciously look forward to putting it on. It feels that comfortable. Like there's no problem with it at all. Um, other helmets I've had really hurt my forehead or just above my forehead and stuff like that. But even though it looks very round, it fits my oval head pretty darn good. This is a large. Um, other helmets I have. I've had some are large, some are extra large. And this, after this shell, the shell, for extra large, the shell sizes is quite a bit bigger. So that's why I wanted the large, so I don't get that mushroom effect as badly with this size shell. And yeah, so that's just an update. Um, one thing I did have to do is the visor does go up on you unwantedly and it's super fucking annoying. So since you got up to speed, it would just start creeping up and you're constantly trying to pull it down and move your head around so it doesn't flip up on you and it was not good. And that's with a windshield. That's another thing too. If you use this without a windshield, it's probably not going to work that well because the shield does not latch or have any um, indentations or what have you to kind of lock it and place it all down or up. It's free floating. So what I've done is put a couple O-rings in behind the, this um, on each side uh, where it pivots. And that kind of helps it. So you can see it's got more resistance now. That sound here is just the O-rings grabbing, uh, put them in dry. And they've lasted quite a bit. So I put did that almost right away. And I just keep it from moving around too much. And I'll show you picture of the orange I put in they have a part number I can give you but yeah they're tight still but yeah without that the shield's pretty annoying <coughs> excuse me so can you use this for crotch rocket or open motorcycle that's around town of course but then why do you need a shield around town but for some of the windshield it works pretty good and I think that's about it uh, yeah there's a the large and Bill. So yeah, I like it a lot. Definitely I'm not looking for another helmet. And it's, I haven't seen a lot of them around. I haven't really been taking off. See the Ferrari Formula One racing team uses these um, for the pit crew. So that's where I see them a lot. They're all red. I don't really like this. I wish that was black and out. I guess I could just paint myself in two seconds, but uh, it'd be nice if that was less pronounced. And also they do need a, some sort of locking device or lashing device for the visor to be a really good helmet, but for now, it's fine. I think I did this with a clamp. I can't remember why. <laughs> oh, when I was sticking in my, my uh, 
has the speed stones in that side got a little bit too. But I kind of like it like that. I don't like it too shiny. I kind of want a bit worn in look. I don't want to look like a brand new helmet all the time. So anyway, hope this helps. And I know helmets are hard to choose and sizing is really difficult. And a lot of times stores don't have them. So you have to buy them online. So uh, any little bit kind of helps hopefully with the helmet choice. Okay, have a great day.